Hey savvy shoppers and bargain hunters, welcome back to my channel Flamingo Finds. Today I have another haul for you and this time it's an Aldi grocery haul. Before I get started with the haul, you know I gotta take a moment to welcome you back. Hey, and if you're new, welcome. If you are new and wondering what we do here, here we do hauls from affordable places like from Aldi or Dollar Tree. I would always tell people you can find some really good stuff at these places. They wouldn't believe me. So I started this channel because I can show you, but I can tell you. And with that said, let's get on with this Aldi haul. Finally, I am doing an Aldi haul because I tell people in the beginning from places like Aldi or Dollar Tree, it never, I think I've only had one Aldi haul. My kids are home for the summer. I have three girls. And it just seems like when they're out of school for the summer, like you just go through food like that. So I'm gonna start with the fridge and freezer items so I can get them back in the fridge and freezer. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is this ice cream and it's made with almond milk. And I got chocolate and we actually got two of each and vanilla because here's the vanilla. And this is actually tastes pretty good. And it's like three, I wanna say around 319. I cannot remember exactly. But this, and next time I'll, I'll have to do better with the prices. But I, I have one daughter that has a milk allergy and another one that's lactose intolerant. So we get a lot of non-dairy products and Aldi even sells non-dairy cheese. And that even tastes pretty good. If you have to buy non-dairy items, then you know they get expensive. Especially if you get it from places like Whole Foods, even Target sells it, but it's not cheap. Aldi has it, it tastes pretty good, and it's not too expensive. Um, I have one daughter, she can drink all the milk she wants. <laughs> she can drink all the milk her heart, all the milk a little heart desires. But anyway, for her, I always get her these yogurts and she loves the vanilla. And this is light vanilla. I don't think they thought about it when they picked it up, but they haven't complained about it, so I'm not gonna say nothing. They probably haven't even, she hasn't even probably paid attention. And she has peach, so. And I actually got two of each of those as well. So next I got two of these and it's just some grilled veggies. It has carrots, well it says carrot, roasted potatoes and broccoli. And I got two trays of these. I thought these would be a good side to go with, you know, you have the meat together and just throw some veggies with it. And it actually looks really good to me. So I grabbed it and I have no problem with their veggies. And Aldi does have like seasonal type items where they put things in for a certain time and then they'll get other things so it's like you'll get something good like this and it's like mm, it's so good and then you go back and you won't be able to find it it, it won't be there i think i grabbed like four bags of these brussels sprouts and my girls are finally starting to eat brussels sprouts so it's not just me anymore so i grabbed four bags of those i grabbed four bags of these green beans are they upside down no i thought they were upside down i got four bags of these green beans and they're just the plain whole green beans Nothing fancy. I don't think they have any sauce or anything. Yeah, they're just plain green beans. So I grabbed four of those. I like to stock up on my freezer items from Aldi as much as I can. I also grabbed two of these, and this is the Asian blend of couscous. And this is so good. I like to get this even for myself. I'll eat just like this whole pack for lunch, and that would be my lunch. Or I'll just put it with the meat as a side. Really good. So I grabbed a pack of this, um, Cold Smoked Atlanta. What is it? Oh, cold smoked Atlantic salmon. So, yeah. And it says no antibiotics, so I grabbed that. So I grabbed two packs of these cheese sticks. This is for my middle daughter because she's the only one, like I said, that can eat these. My youngest daughter can eat a couple, but after that, not too many. But um, these are just something quick she can throw in the air fryer. Got these kebabs, Mediterranean style chicken kebabs. And I thought this would be easy and something to pair with that couscous that I have and a quick, simple, easy lunch or even dinner if I don't want anything too heavy. Next, I have these Diana's um, Salted Caramel Banana Babies. And I grabbed these because they look good. So the next part of the haul is um, like different types of bread, but this is the part of the haul that got eaten because <laughs> it just did. Like I said, my girls are home. And so the first thing I have, which is new to me, and they even had, is this lemon poppy, oh. <laughs> is this lemon, poppy seed bread have you seen this there before because this is new to me and i tasted a slice of it it is good it kind of tastes like a lemon poppy seed muffin my middle daughter loves lemon anything so this is just something she can make her some toast with she said tomorrow she's gonna make um a french toast with it so that one probably tastes really good they also had blueberry and that was new to me as well and i wish i would have taken a picture i wasn't thinking i should have took a picture of it for you but um I, look, one of these in here is enough. It's, it's just, if you've had their apple strudel bread and you know how good that is, this is on that same level. And this bread is only, I can't remember what it was, but this bread is not that high. It's 
I want to say around two dollars, but I, I don't think it's over two dollars. Next, um, this is a staple here, and it's the cinnamon raisin bread. My youngest daughter eats this, and my middle daughter eats it. And she, my youngest daughter, really eats this as a snack. Um, she loves this, and she she eats it in the morning too with her breakfast sometimes. But it's pretty good. I've tried it before. It's pretty good. But I'm gonna be honest, and it, it it's really good. It, don't get me wrong, this is really good. But this, this right here, this won't be something I keep because this is too good. So, like I said, this is this is good. But this is killing it. <laughs> Next. I guess like you could say a type of bread is these um spinach spinach and herb Ooh, spinach and herb wraps and they have different flavors of sandwich wraps they even have keto wraps like low carb wraps so they have gluten-free wraps but this is the one my daughters picked out for their lunch so they love doing this and they like spreading hummus on there and then putting their toppings in the middle toppings their filling in the middle and um yeah but I let them pick out with whatever wrap they like. I have um, some bell peppers and I just needed the green ones and I got two packs of these. And what I'm gonna do when this is over is I wash them and I dice them and I put them in the freezer so they're already cut up and ready to go because I don't like to cook. And anything that I could do to make things easier for me, I do that. Okay. So I have, um, I got two bags of these actually and it's the red onions and I've had, I've never had a problem with the red onions, with their bell peppers or the potatoes. Every time I've gotten those from Aldi's, they've been pretty good. So I just got two packs of these. And like I said, I will cut them up and put them in the freezer and they'll be on hand when I need them. Now, if you like red pepper in your salad, then that's not a good idea, you know, to cut it up and put it in the freezer. Or even if you do cook a lot and sometimes you're short on time, just have some onions on hand diced up and ready to go. So I actually went to Aldi this time during the week. I think it was Monday that we went. And that's not the best time to go. The best time to go was actually on Wednesday or try to go Thursday because, and well, it depends on where you're at. My store is stock on Wednesday. That's when we get our new stuff in. So toward the end of that or the, you know, you're not going to get many items. But anyway, I got this. Um, I don't even remember getting this when so my kids wants to grab the salsa, but they didn't get any chips to go with it. So, but this is still good. It's um, black bean and corn. And you could put this like on your eggs. You could put this on your burger if you want. But um, I'll probably have to grab some chips somewhere to go with it. Because, you know, you got to have chips and salsa. I don't know why they didn't get the chips. That's it of the food items at Aldi. If you didn't know, Aldi has this fun seasonal owl. And I just see people usually call it Aldi's fun owl. I just call it fun seasonal owl. And they have all kind of different things there. I do have an Aldi shop with me i don't know if, if i put it up before or after this video but when that comes up just check it out if you're not familiar with aldi so that you can see what i'm talking about but i got some fun things and y'all have had these things since may some of them because i was holding them to do an aldi haul but we kept eating up the aldi haul so we never got to the anyway let's get on with this so the first product is this washing um powder well they're tied they're washing pods i call every even liquid powder i'm old school I call everything washing powder and it's not powder this is like the washing pods and they say they're comparable to tide pods and this was on clearance for two dollars and 49 cents so for that price i said might as well give it a try so how many are in here there's 32 of them in here and now that i'm looking at this i'm like why didn't i grab at least two i i have no idea why i didn't grab two of them i mean it's washing powder you're going to need it why not grab more of it i grabbed this razor and this was around $12.99 I want to say and it's a ladies razor and it's um let me show you the back so it has a base that you can charge it and you know you can use it that way and it's electric razor so uh, I needed one and I got one from Aldi of all places <laughs> cannot believe they even had that there like I said you never know what they'll have in that fun seasonal so aisle next I have oh my gosh you guys so if you've been following me and my other channel for a while, then you know I love candles. I love, love candles. I think that's an understatement of how I love candles. So I had to get this candle set and my girls got it for me for Mother's Day. <laughs> that's how long I've had this sitting waiting to haul. It has like, okay, let me go through each piece because it just, it just makes my candle life more bougie, okay? <laughs> my Aldi candle set. And this was, I wanna say $20. Was it twenty dollars, Amira? Well, this candle set. It was like twenty dollars, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So this was twenty dollars, which is usually higher than I would like to spend in Aldi, but I really wanted this. <laughs> so this is one of the um. This is a to trim the wicks, and it trims the wick perfectly for you at a quarter inch. 
and look how pretty that looks it's just like ah so aesthetically pleasing they had gold silver and black and i picked the gold because for one i like the box and gold you know it just it just pops so i got this comes with it also this and this is to pull the wick out if the wick is down into the wax you just take this little pop it on up but it, you do it prettily and and just you know so fancy <laughs> I just, just being silly. And they also have um, the candle snuffer to go with it. Just so cute. Like I said, I love candles. I have tons of candles and I had to have this set and oops, I think everything fell, but I had to have this set. So my girl's thinking it for me for Mother's Day. So I was like, yes. I also have um, a couple of candles that I got from there. Now there was a little thing going on with the candles. Okay. First, the candles were three, I want to say around $3.99. If I'm not mistaken, then they went up to four, four or something like four eighty nine, and I think even a little higher than that. Some higher price candles, but those usually have like a prettier um, container. But the basic candles like this three wick are usually three ninety nine, and that's what I was used to paying. And then they kept going up and up, but they brought them back down to three ninety nine. So the newer ones are now three ninety nine. Like yes. So people probably were like, uh-uh, I'm not paying that much for an Aldi candle, but their candles aren't bad and they do have a good throw. Mm, smells so good. This one is cucumber mint. I didn't show y'all. I just keep assuming you can smell it through the screen, but here's cucumber mint. And it's so, I like the, the wax is like that pretty green, but I like softer candles like this. And it's a very light, clean, minty scent. And I got this for my bedroom. I like clean scents in my room, but all over i like loud sweet scent also like that one so much that when i went back to get one they were gone but these were on clearance and that's a single wick version i haven't burnt these single wick versions before and this is cucumber mint leaf the same one but um i just grabbed it because it was on clearance for like 180 something mm, and it just smells so good i have this um and this was on clearance for a dollar and something as well dollar 80 something almost two dollars no no i want to say this was on clearance for three dollars three something but it's their garden collection in the garden um and it's one of the garden candles and they have different scents in their garden collection and i bought one last year and i love the way this frosted glass looks when it's lit it has a very like relaxing glow to it and i really do like the wooden lid to it the wooden lid on top oh this candle smells so good this one is orchard and it smells so good and i love the pink afterward the pink um container so i got one of these mainly for the the aesthetic of it the way it burns it looks so pretty like i said against that frosted glass so i grabbed another one mm, my candle love is complete <laughs> i also will be having a bath and body works in my annual sale candle haul coming up it's not just candles though i think it is just candles I may have some other things in there as well, but I have not gone crazy this year with their um, sale. But anyway, that's the end of this Aldi haul. My finally Aldi haul. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you, especially if you made it to the end. I just have one question for you. Are you familiar with Aldi? Do you shop at Aldi? And if you do, do you only buy groceries? Or do you kind of stroll down that seasonal fun aisle from time to time to see what fun things you can find? Let me know down below in the comments so we can start up a conversation because I've told y'all before and I've told you before, 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 this is a safe space for us bargain hunters. You know how people are in our everyday life. They don't want to hear about this all the time, but we do. We do. I do. want. I want to hear about it. I want to talk about it. So let me know down below. Do you like Aldi? Do you like Aldi for just groceries? Do you like their fun out? Are you like, mm, girl, you can keep Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I will see y'all next time, next haul, next shop with me. Bye.